Hi, this is the Firefriends Crappy Mania, and today I'm going to make a card. And the particular card that I'm doing is um, one that I'm using my scraps. We get when we when we do a lot of layouts, we tend to have tons and tons of scraps. So um, these are some of my bins, and this is just a green scraps. I have I have them grouped in different colors: green, yellow, pink, etc. And they get pretty big. So I want to, so today I'm going to address that. We are going to make a card using some scraps and then I'm going to show you a layout that I created just by using my scrap piece of papers. If you group your scraps in, like I have them group in bins with the, the, the colors, like the, all the greens together, even the patterns are with the greens. So I don't really separate solid greens with pattern greens. I just put them all together. And sometimes you do get some pattern paper that they have a lot of mixture of colors so you really don't know if it's green or it's it pink or what now let me show you one one of them that I have that this one in particular it's kind of a mixture of colors so what you want to do with these this particular one you want to see what color jumps at you and the color that jumps at me when I see this pattern paper is green so that's why I put it in my green bin so we're going to go ahead and address that. So um, I'm going to make a card and then I'm going to show you my layout. I'm going to cut. What I'm going to need is um, the Fisker. I'm going to use the Fisker um, shape cutter. And then I'm going to take an uh, 85 by 11 piece of cardstock and I'm going to cut it in half. And that's going to be my card base. Okay, and I'm going to fold it in half. This is going to be, I'm going to use a stamp, and it's going to be the Stamping Up stamp. And the name of it is Furnish With Love. And I'm going to be using the lamp and You Light Up My Life. So those are the two images I'm going to be using, and I'm going to color it. So that's why I have this piece of scrap in order to use that, um, to use it for my stamp image. Then I'm going to use uh, stickers that I have lying around, so I'm probably going to use the punctuation or any other symbols there. I'm going to use this little um, piece of, I don't know, embellishment that I got from a piece of paper and it says you live it up. And I'm also going to use one of my homemade flags for this um, card. And then the, the color, the piece of paper that I want to really, this one, I want this one to be my main. But um, then I have these strips and I kind of co color coordinated it with this one in mind. And then I have my greens here. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and fold my card base in half. And I'm going to use a bone folder for that. Then what I want to do is I want to create line strips on my layout with the star being in the center. So I'm going to go ahead and start using a pencil. And just going to line it up and maybe I want to cut here and here so I'm going to cut it in an angle and it's going to meet at a point down here so I'm going to take a ruler and basically I just want something like this got to cut it in an angle going to be something like that and then I'm just going to after I place them all down I'll just cut the excess so you're going to cut your strips in angles then the next one I want to use is this one and I'm going to cut this one in the angle as well and 
And you're just going to keep cutting your pieces in an angle. This one. Okay, and I'm going to start, go ahead and start gluing it down so that way. And you know what? I'm going to leave, I'm probably going to leave a little space in between. So let me start gluing it down. Next piece. Gonna leave a little line in the middle there. Okay, and then my next piece for this side, I'm going to start Okay, and then here you're going to cut it like a fat triangle. And let me use this one. Actually, I want this. Let me use this one. And it's going to be a little fat triangle. We're going to go ahead and repeat this one, and I want it more here. Not when I cut it too short. Let's see. Yeah, I needed to cut it a little longer than what I cut it there. Okay, that should be enough. That's perfect, right there.
And you don't have to worry about these pieces. I'm going to put a big old um, star there. And I'm going to go back with this color. And I like to use wax paper so that way my adhesive doesn't get on my project. It stays on the wax paper. Okay. Now let's just repeat the green. I'm almost done so I think the next piece will be right here It's going to be a very colorful um, card and then I just need two more cards there, two more pieces. I'll use this piece there. It's already cut for me so I'm going to use that piece here. And then um, for this piece, let's see, let me go ahead and repeat this color for that piece. This one's going to probably be a little more difficult to do. Actually, we should cut it. Ah, let's go. Let's redo. Mm. Actually, this won't be better. There. That one. So I'm done gluing my pieces, now I'm going to turn it over and cut out the excess.
And there, that's the beginning of my card. Now, let me get rid of all these pieces. And I still have some more scraps left over, so I can go ahead and make another card if I wish. Now I'm going to go ahead, put this aside, I want to go ahead and create a um, stitch line in between those lines. So I'm going to use a fine tip Sharpie, and I'm just going to go and make stitch lines. You can use a ruler if you want to be very precise, but you can just eyeball it like what I'm doing. You can also use a sewing machine if you like. I tend not to want to use my sewing machine as much. It's just too big to put to, I mean, it's a big sewing machine and I just don't like bringing it out unless I'm really am going to sew something. Now imagine doing the same technique for a layout. You can do the same thing. Just cut your strips bigger and you can do a layout. 12 by 12 layout, even 8 by 8, 6 by 6. Be kind of a fun project to do. Okay, so I'm done with my stitching now. I think I'm going to use this one to create my my star. So I'm going to take my Fisker cutter. And I think I want this star. This is a nice big star. And with if you haven't used one of these, just make sure that you can read Fisker is legible. If you don't, if you cut, it won't cut if you have the template upside down. Then one of the things you do with this is you align the blade and then slowly cut the image out. And sometimes when you first start using the, this one, this um, Fisker shape cutter, um, you might, your blade might slip and you don't really, you cut your image, not how it should be cut. Um, but if you take your time and kind of just go around the edges slowly, it'll be okay. My sister has one of, one of these and it took her a little while to kind of get the hang of it, but you'll get the hang of it. Okay. So now, this is going to be here. And actually, I might want a bigger star now that I see that one. Uh, I might want to cut. Let me cut this star. I would like that star. I think it would be better than this small. When I put the star in there, it kind of loses itself from it. From it. Um, it's not as big, so I'm going to go ahead... And unfortunately, I don't have a bigger piece of paper, so I might have to use something else. So let me go in my stack of pay, um, my stack of, of, of scraps and try to find something that will match this. 
Okay, so I went ahead and cut the bigger star and I stamped You Light My Life. I'm going to go ahead and attach this here. And then I went ahead and stamped my lamp image. And I'm going to put that there and I put some foam adhesive. So let me go ahead and glue this in place. And actually for that I'm going to use some liquid adhesive. It will be a lot easier to glue it in place. Okay, I'm going to peel back my sticky back, uh, my dimensional adhesive. Okay, and I place that there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some um, dimensional adhesive in the back of my. Um, star just to lift it off the page let me put some there and there that way Make sure it doesn't. I, I, I don't really like when you put just dimensional adhesive in just the center or the side and then the middle part either goes in, you know, you have that little divot. I don't like that. So I like to put enough adhesive to keep my embellishment raised and not have it buckle or bubble because there's no adhesive um, to support the weight of the embellishment. Okay, I'm going to place that here. And then what I did is, um, I'm going to go ahead and I went ahead and did the same treatment on the inside and I created a star. Now if you notice that when I stamped it, it really didn't work. Um, I didn't do a good stamping job on it. But um, how to remedy that is that I went ahead and stamped the word again correctly because I stamped it backwards um, correctly on, a, on another strip of paper and then I'm going to cover that with my new stamp word. So I'm going to put in there, you are my sunshine. So just because you didn't stamp it right, don't get rid of the whole piece. You just need to kind of um, cut another, stamp it on, on the same piece of cardstock that you used and use that with foam adhesive and use that to put on your embellishment like I did here. Now this one I don't want to do it dimensional so I want it flat and then I'm going to go ahead and place this there. You are my sunshine. It's lifting up a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive. And then I'm going to go ahead and do some stitching. To kind of reproduce the stitching in the front. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some stitching around the star as well. I think that's going to look good.
And the reason why I wanted to put stitching is because when I put the cardstock, I mean the 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 star on the white background, it kind of needed it was heavy on this side, and it kind of needed something to balance the weight on this side. So by placing a little bit of stitch around the star it really kind of made it that you can really see that it's more balanced and um, you can see the star better that way and I think I might do some stitching on here as well just to balance it out And I think I'm done with that card. So, and then actually, I want to round out the corners of my card. Hopefully, this will punch through the whole piece. Yes, it did. And there, that's the way to use your scrap in order to create a card or a layout. Now, I'm using my flip, so I'm going to change my flip and I'm going to do another tutorial. This layout was completely done by scraps. So I'm going to put it together. So mainly, I just wanted to show you on a, on a cardstock how to do it. You, you do the same principle that I did on this cardstock. You go and find all the colors that will make a nice combination. Now for this layout, let me bring it back. I did cut it in squares, two inch squares. But you don't have to use two inch squares like I demonstrated here. You can use strips. Imagine you can also do in a weaving technique. You can cut it if you have long strips of scraps. You can cut the long strips of uh, scraps and then you can inter and weave it together to make like a weave on your layout so there's a lot of possibilities so you can reuse all those scraps and make more um, paper pattern paper using your scraps and it'll be a totally unique beautiful um, project so I hope you like this tutorial come back to see me for some more and don't forget to see my assembling that 12 by 12 layout that I will do in a second Thank you for watching. Bye.